Hey guys, a very good day to y'all. In this video, we are going to understand depression in freezing point. And for that, let us consider a container over here. And in this container, let us take a pure solvent. Okay, so I am having a pure solvent inside a container. Now let us assume that the freezing point of this pure solvent is Tf naught. Okay guys, so we have assumed that the freezing point of this pure solvent is Tf0. Now, what I am going to do is that I am going to consider another container. And in this container, I am going to take the same solvent. But over here, along with the solvent, I am going to add non-volatile solute to it. Okay, so finally, can I say inside this right hand side container, I am having a solution. Why solution? Because here there is this blue color solvent present as well as there is this yellow color solute present. So solute plus solvent gives us solution. And let us assume that the freezing point of this solution is Tf. Okay, so we have assumed that the freezing point of this solution is Tf. And guys, we will generally observe that Tf, that is nothing but the freezing point of the solution, will be less than the freezing point of the pure solvent. And this concept is called as depression in freezing point. So, understand now. Earlier, the freezing point of pure solvent was Tf0, but as soon as you add non-volatile solute to it, the freezing point now decreases from Tf0 to Tf. Understood? Earlier, the freezing point of the pure solvent was Tf0, but when you add non-volatile solute to it, the freezing point decreases from Tf0 to Tf. Okay? So, this decrease in freezing point is nothing but called as depression in freezing point. Clear with this? Now, what will be the value of depression in freezing point? So, simple, the value of depression in freezing point will be nothing but Tf0 minus Tf. Okay? So, since Tf0 is a greater value over here, therefore, we subtract Tf from Tf0. And make an observation over here that depression in freezing point is represented by delta Tf. So you have got an idea about what is depression in freezing point. But why does this happen? Let us understand with the help of a graph. So for that, let us take vapor pressure on the y-axis and let us take temperature on the x-axis. Now for those who do not know what is vapor pressure, don't worry guys, I have already uploaded a separate video on this. You can find the link of that video in the description box below or you can simply click on this I button which is present on the right top corner of your screen. Okay, now let us plot a graph for solid solvent. Now what is the meaning of a solid solvent? It is nothing but solvent when it is present in solid phase. Okay. So at that time, you plot a graph of vapor pressure against temperature and you observe that it is a straight line. Now, let us plot another graph for pure liquid solvent. Now, what is the meaning of a pure liquid solvent? See, this is nothing but your pure liquid solvent. This which we have considered is a pure liquid solvent. So we have plotted a graph for solid solvent and also for the pure liquid solvent. Now, if you observe over here, both the graphs are intersecting at this point. Okay. So, at this point, what happens is that this solid solvent is in equilibrium with the pure liquid solvent. And at this point, we note down the temperature. And this temperature at is, uh, this temperature is the freezing point temperature, which we have assumed it to be Tf0. See, we have assumed it to be Tf0. Let me show you all. See, we have assumed that the freezing point temperature of a pure solvent is Tf0. Okay, so I hope that uh, up till here, everything is clear to you. Okay. So, this is this Tf0 is nothing but your freezing point temperature. 
Now let us plot a graph for liquid solution. Now what is the meaning of a liquid solution? See, this is your liquid solution. Okay, and guys, now we observe that it is coinciding at. Let me show you all. See, it is coinciding at this point over here. Okay, so you note down uh, the temperature at this point. Okay, so at this point, you find out that the freezing point of the liquid solution is T F. Okay, so this is nothing but T F. Let let me show you all. It will help you understand better. See, this this T F is nothing but the freezing point of your solution. Now, with the help of this graph, you can observe easily, guys, that of course this T F is less than T F naught. Okay, so you can observe that T F that is nothing but the freezing point of the solution. Is less than the freezing point of the pure solvent, and this is what I told you all earlier. See, T F is less than T F naught. Clear with this? So you have understood with the help of a graph. Now there is one more reason because of which there is a depression in freezing point. So let us understand that. So in a pure solvent, what happens is that at freezing point in a pure solvent. the attractive forces between the solid molecules solvent molecules is appreciable now what is the meaning of this see when you consider a pure solvent in a pure solvent there are only solvent molecules present and since there are only solvent molecules present everywhere therefore the attractive forces between the solvent molecules is large and this attractive force helps for phase transform from liquid phase to the solid phase but whereas in a solution in a solution the solvent molecules are separated from each other why they are separated from each other because along with the solvent molecules there are solute molecules as well okay so the solute molecules come in between of the solvent molecules and as a result of this there is a decrease in the attractive forces between the solvent molecules and as there is a decrease in the attractive forces between the solvent molecules consequently the temperature of the solution is lowered to cause the phase change okay so guys i hope that this part is clear for you all now let us understand the relation between freezing point depression and concentration of solute why we want to understand the relation between them because freezing point depression is a colligative property we are doing colligative properties one by one okay so since freezing point is a depression is a colligative property therefore we know that colligative property depends on the number of solute therefore we need to understand the relation between freezing point depression and concentration of solute and guys we observe that freezing point depression is directly proportional to the molality of the concentration of molality of the solute okay so we have represented the concentration of solute in terms of molality now if we want to remove this proportionality sign and if we want to replace it with a equal to sign we need to add a constant over here therefore we add a constant let's say kf and guys this kf this constant is called as your cryoscopic constant okay now if you want to find out the units of this cryoscopic constant then you need to first of all find out the formula for this constant so to find out the formula let us shift this m on the left hand side so we get the formula for cryoscopic constant okay delta tf that is nothing but freezing point depression divided by m that is nothing but molality now guys all the units will obviously be kelvins A temperature is represented in kelvins therefore k in the numerator and in the denominator we are having molality and molality is nothing but moles per kg so this is nothing but the units of your cryoscopic constant so guys i hope that you have liked this video and if you like this video then please not forget to subscribe to the channel and go check out my channel where i uploaded chemistry and physics videos they might be helpful for you and guys thank you for watching this video